in this lecture we will look at a concept which is called derivatives okay so we will look at derivative of a function but before looking at this we will try to see what is a tangent to a function okay so let's see so we have a function like this and we want to find the tangent to the function at some given point so the what we take is that we want to find the tangent at this point so we take a second q and what we do so this is the line then what we do we approach q towards p so q moves towards p like this so if q comes here so the second becomes like this okay when q comes here so second is becoming like this when q comes here second is becoming like this q comes here second is becoming like this and when q approaches p so what happens so we get a line which is just touching the curve at point p okay so this is called the tangent similarly we can move from the other side q can be here some point so if q is here so this is the tangent the second here then q moves here so second is something like this q moves here second is something like this when q comes very close so it's like this and when q tends to p so it is the tangential line so this is the property of tangent okay so this is how we draw tangent so tangent to a line just to a point of a curve just touches that a line that just touches that point on the curve okay so this is the thing and what is now derivative so derivative is equal to slope of the tangent line okay so slope of the tangent line at point p okay so whatever this line is going so this is some line y is mx plus c so the slope of this line is called the derivative at that point so that is the definition of derivative and because we saw here that q approaches p once from right hand side once we approached from left hand side so what can you think here can anyone tell yes so it involves some kind of limit that q is approaching p from both left hand and right hand side okay so if you are asked that okay find the slope of the curve y is equal to x square so what will happen so we have to find the slope of the curve y is equal to x square let's say at 2 okay at this point so this is 2 comma 0 and we have to find the slope of this curve at this particular point so what you do again at this point 
so this is the point and let's say this is another point so this is at 2 so the slope we have to find the tangent to this line so what will it be like so again q can approach from here so we should draw in fact a better curve to understand this concept okay so i will try to make a much better curve that will help us okay so again I was not able to do it but let's try once more okay so this is much better so now slope of at this point so let's see slope at this point if I'm trying to calculate so what should I do I have a point P if Q is somewhere here so what will be the slope like so slope we can write like so okay so h let's say that okay h is this one so this is h okay and this is so this is y is equal to x square or y is fx and i have to find the slope of the tangent so what happens if q is here then slope is what of this line the slope is so q o by p o isn't it and now this is equal to q o is f of x q so q f of at point q is f of x plus h so this is something like this was x so this is x plus h so we have a point this one is f of at this point is f of x plus h and at this point it is f of x and this length is x plus h minus x okay so f of x plus h minus f of x by h so this is the derivative the slope of the derivative the tangential line so now as q approaches p so now as q approaches p so let's see what happens so as q approaches p so when q comes here so this h will become smaller when q comes still closer so this h will be still smaller and when q tends to p approaches p so h tends to zero so hence we can write that slope at point p is equal to h limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h okay this is the slope of tangent line at p so we started with something big we had q somewhat farther so we drew a line here okay and we tried to find the slope so this was slope was it was tan of this theta it was equal to q o by p o and then what we did we had to find the slope at point q for the tangent so when we try to find the slope of the tangent this q approaches p then it becomes a tangent so that's what we did so q approached p then this h now this 
triangle the h base became smaller and smaller and hence in the limit form we can write limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h so this is the from the triangle pqo okay from triangle pqo we found that this is the slope and this is the definition of a derivative that is so derivative at a point for a function it is the slope of tangent at point P okay so this is the definition so now let's see if f of x is equal to x square okay so again we will try we didn't solve this problem okay so now this is let's say at point 2 we want okay x is equal to 2 we want the derivative so which is the slope of the tangent at p so what we should do so at this point we want to find the tangential line but by definition we will take okay this is q this is p so now here this will be the line and i have to find the tangent of this so q o so this angle we have to find for now at this point x is equal to 2 so it is function value is f of 2 at this point if this is h so it is f of 2 plus h will be the value here here the value will be f of 2 and this base is h so limit h tends to 0 why because if q is here now when q comes here so this becomes smaller h and when q approaches p so h tends to 0 so this will be the derivative or the slope of the tangent as h tends to 0 and if we evaluate this so this is f of 2 plus h so h plus 2 whole square minus f of 2 which is 4 limit h tends to 0 by h so this becomes h square plus 4 plus 4 h minus 4 isn't it by h limit h tends to 0 so 4 goes away so h h plus 4 by h limit h tends to 0 so now h tends to 0 but it's never 0 so we can cut it safely so this is equal to h plus 4 limit h tends to 0 so this becomes 4 now if you know somehow that the derivative for fx is 2 of x so this is 2 into at x is equal to it is 4 